So we have four worksheets in this workbook. To combine the data from all these worksheets into a single worksheet, in the developer tab, Visual Basic, see the Visual Basic editor of Excel is activated. To insert a new module, right click on any of these objects, insert, module, a new module is created. Let me minimize these windows. Here we have the VBA code for combining data from different worksheets of a workbook. We'll copy this code. Back to the VBA editor. We'll paste the copied code here. Name of the macro is Combine Worksheets. We'll close the VBA editor. Now to combine the data from all these worksheets into a single worksheet, in the Developer tab, Macros, the macro called Combine Worksheets is listed here. To execute this macro, run. See new worksheet called Master Code added here. And we have an input box which says select the headers. Let's select the headers for the output sheet. OK. And the data from all worksheets of this workbook is combined into this single sheet. Before adding this macro to the quick access toolbar, here is a quick explanation of this code. Name of the macro is Combine Worksheets. This for loop is to check whether the active workbook has a worksheet named master. And if there is a worksheet in the same name, it will be deleted. Then the statement to add a new worksheet called master. The statement to create an input box, which can be used to select the headers for the output sheet. Headers will be then copied to the worksheet called master. And this for loop will go through every worksheet of the workbook. We'll copy data from the active worksheet and paste it into the worksheet called master. Finally, the worksheet called master is activated and the zoom level is set to 115 percentage. Now to make this macro available to every workbook on this computer, we have to add this macro into the personal macro workbook. For that, we'll close the VB editor. To create the personal macro workbook, in the developer tab, record macro. The dialog called record macro is activated. Store macro in. Make sure that personal macro workbook is selected. OK. Stop recording. Back to the VB editor. See a new object called personal.xlsb is created, which is nothing but personal macro workbook. Let me expand this object. Let me delete this code. Back to the macro which we created for combining data. Let's copy this code and paste it into the personal macro workbook. Now to add this macro into the quick access toolbar, close the VP editor. Right click on the quick access toolbar. Customize quick access toolbar. Choose commands from macros. Select the macro from the personal macro workbook. And if you want to change the icon, modify. We'll rename the display name. OK. Once again, OK. See the macro code added to the quick access toolbar. We'll close this workbook. Don't save. Do you want to save the changes you have made to the personal macro workbook? Save. Another workbook called Sales Data. This workbook called Sales Data has 11 worksheets with more than 19,000 records. Now to combine the data from all these worksheets into a single worksheet, in the Quick Access Toolbar, Combine Data. A new worksheet called Master is created. Input box for selecting headers. Select the headers for output sheet. OK. The data from 11 worksheets of this workbook is combined into a single worksheet. More than 19,000 records.